Hello friends, you're tuned in once again to Points on Plants. I'm Jared Hughes with Fort Myer and Sons Greenhouse. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about success in the wake of a, of a record-breaking heat wave. Um, it's been very difficult here in Ohio. I know a lot of you are having some troubles with your garden. So I wanted to go over with some of the late season perennials you can plug into those holes in your garden to really have a nice pop of color all the way through till frost. Um, right here I've included some of my favorite late season perennials. But right now here at the garden center, we have tons of wonderful perennials loaded up just for you. Um, we picked them, we selected them for performance in heat and for longevity into the cool season. So just to go over some of my favorites, um, the new forms of Coreopsis that are coming out are just incredible. Um, this is Sunset Strip Coreopsis, wonderful yellows and orange, um, becomes darker orange and red as the season, as the temperatures drop later in the season. Um, stone crop, you can't go wrong. If you like pollinators, this is an excellent plant. It's just getting ready to bloom here. Um, they call another name for it is live forever plant. It's a succulent and very, very hardy in the driest of conditions and a great uh, mound of pink later in the season. Um, a little surprise here, torch lily, red hot poker. Um, of another very drought tolerant plant, this is a zero escaping plant. Um, blooms late season but continues to set buds. As you can see, it's setting buds here. Really, really one of, one of my favorite plants. It's just so dramatic, especially in masses. Um, there are more and more echinacea or coneflower cone varieties coming out on the market every year. And what we've learned about these plants is they're exceptionally cold hardy. Um, aside from doubles and single plants, they come in all different sizes and colors. Um, with, from vivid red to exploded pink to double orange and even green. Uh, these are just a few of the selections that we have available. And uh, again, another one of our favorite plants for late season color. You can't go wrong with this plant. It's so, so cold hardy. Um, hibiscus. These flowers, this, this flower here is beginning to, to senesce, but these flowers can be up to dinner plate size. Um, on plants uh, up to five, six feet tall, sometimes even taller. A showstopper for the back border of the garden. Um, coral bells. I'm sure many of you know coral bells, but you may not know that this is a semi-evergreen plant. So when many plants die back for the season, this still has some winter interest. Uh, prolific bloomer in many different colors and textures. And one of my favorite things about it, it's deer resistant, so a nice, ho nice hostile alternative. Um, one plant that is extremely underutilized in the garden, especially here in the Midwest, is Joe Pieweed, Eupatorium. Um, some of the newer varieties are much shorter than the wild varieties. This, this is maxed out here right about four feet. Um, another great pollinator plant. It'll take drought, it'll take it wet. So very versatile. Just a short, you know, this is just a short selection of some of the amazing plants that we have this time of year. We have everything from shade plants to full sun plants, and, uh, and you know, they, they just keep rocking all the way into frost. So we want you to come out, check out our selection. If you have any questions, email us. We'd be happy to answer any questions for you, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Have a great day.